Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a bit of an exciting one. I'm sure that a lot of you, just like myself when I first started YouTube, wanted to know this information. And obviously, as you guys can read by the title of this video, I will be sharing with you my first YouTube paycheck with having only 3,500 subscribers and how the Google ad revenue works. So if this video interests you, then be sure to like this video. Comment down below if you will be starting your YouTube channel this year and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So the timeline of this video is gonna go a little bit like this. I'm gonna be discussing with you when I finally got monetized, the monetization process of Google and the AdSense revenue and how you guys can get your channel monetized super, super fast. So if all these three things interest you, then I highly recommend that you keep on watching. So to begin this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself and then just my kind of journey through YouTube. I actually started YouTube for those who have been subscribing me from when I did start. You guys are real. Thank you guys so much. But I started YouTube roughly around three years ago. I want to say 2017. And my channel was based solely just on makeup and beauty. I built a huge audience surrounding the whole beauty makeup industry just because all of my videos in the beginning of starting my channel were solely of me make, doing makeup videos how to for makeup trying out new makeup and all of that fun stuff it was more of a channel that was just for fun for me and to express what i loved most which was makeup and beauty and my following stemmed from really my other social media platforms like a lot of friends family and just a couple of people who were new who found my videos that were across um youtube so within i i want to say my first year of having youtube i did gain about a thousand subscribers and i did actually get monetized the first year but this was back in 2017. now i did have some money accumulating it wasn't that much i want to say that there was like about 80 dollars that i had accumulated within my first year of making videos because I did have, I want to say about, I did have like two videos that had thousands of videos. I had an acne video that I made and also a fitness video that went crazy and performed really, really well. And that actually made me money. Now, the one thing I want to mention is that throughout my course, YouTube had changed their whole monetization process. And then what happened was that they, created the monetization process that we know of as today, which I will explain more in depth on how the monetization process for YouTube works now later on in this video. So the downfall to the whole entire change of the monetization process that YouTube had made was that my money was on hold and I was not able to touch it because I did not have about 4,000 watch hours that is required for YouTube monetization now. So with that being said, I kind of, got a little discouraged if I'm gonna be honest. And then also I was still in YouTube college and my boyfriend and I had also just started a marketing business that same year. So things kind of got super busy and hectic for me. So I kind of pushed YouTube to the back burner and I completely stopped making videos for almost a year. Yeah, like for almost a year, I completely stopped making videos. I always had my DMs flooded with girls and guys being like, oh, like when are you guys, when are you gonna come out with another video? Like I miss you, um, do this makeup look, etc., etc." But what I did was I created videos, but I was posting very, very, very inconsistently. It was one video every couple of months or a video that someone had highly requested. I'd make it for them and then I'd go ghost on my channel for a couple weeks, couple months and so forth and so on. It wasn't until this past year of 2020 with quarantine and everything going on, being here stuck at home, completely bored, that I finally decided to pick up the camera and then start making videos. Now, one thing I do wanna say is the beginning of quarantine and the process of me starting to make videos again, I had began making some makeup videos, but my boyfriend had suggested, why don't you talk more and deliver value and build an audience surrounded on business since we have our social media marketing business and because that information is what we know best so i gave it a thought and i was a bit hesitant because obviously like throughout the past two years i built an audience solely on beauty and and, and um, makeup and now i'm going to be introducing a whole new um topic on my channel of business but I'm glad that I didn't think too much into it and I went with the jump and I began making business videos and, and I kid you not, my channel went, my channel skyrocketed. I've gotten so many subscribers, 
so many followers, so many supporters surrounded by my business videos that I just came out with. So I'm so happy that I went with the jump and continued with that, which I'm gonna continue with that because there's a lot more into business related videos that again, I will share throughout the video. Now with that being said, because of the business videos that I made and because they had so much attention and I've gained so much subscribers, I was finally able to reach my monetization goal and get an email and letter from YouTube finally stating that I was approved to be monetized and to go forth with the monetization application and process that they have, which I was so stoked about. I was like, finally three years of being kind of inconsistent, but now it's actually happening. I can finally get paid. I can finally be monetized for the videos that I create. So with that being said, when I got monetized was November of 2020. And this was kind of like mid November, I want to say. So once you get monetized, YouTube sends you either a letter through the mail or a, or an email through whatever email that you have associated with your YouTube account. You have to fill out the application and then it, it takes like 24 hours, 24 to 72 hours for it to then be approved and then everything goes on from there. So now I'm gonna be discussing what I made my, in my first month and then my highest paying month thus far. The day I'm filming this video is February 26th of 2021 and I got monetized last year in November. So it's only been just a couple months. So November, December, January, February. So four months of me being monetized. And I wanna say I have not been super consistent with making videos. I literally wrote down and went back into my analytics and jotted this information down because I knew I was going to be making this video for you guys to be able to share this with you. But from November till now, I've literally only created two videos every single month thus far, which is terrible, terrible, I know, I know. I've been slacking. But with me only making two videos every single month since November, I have still gotten paid some money. And it's good because it's just passive income as we all know. So my first month of doing YouTube, I was paid. I'm gonna be posting screenshots that I took from my analytics like over here so that you guys can see that I'm not lying, that this is what I made. Now it's not a lot because obviously like I, I just started. And like I said, I'm not posting a lot of videos like I should be. But in my first month of being monetized, which was back in November and mind you, like I previously stated, I got monetized the like in the middle of November. It wasn't even the full course of November. It was like mid-November. And what I got paid, I have it here on my phone. I got paid $226.74 for just the month of November. So I think that was pretty good for me being monetized so quick and me only having half of the month. So I was presently surprised. Now, December, I made just a couple dollars less. I think it's like $3 less, but I made $223.59 for the month of December. And then January is my highest paying month so far. Um, and I made $301.94 for the month of January. And then February is obviously still running its course, but... I'm almost at my 200 mark and mind you, I've only created like, I think one video for this month, which is insane. So obviously with being consistent and posting more videos, you're obviously gonna make more money, but this is just me starting out with monetize, being monetized within four months. So I very, very happy. <laughs> it's extra money that I get deposited like towards the end of every single month. So I can't complain. I'm very, very grateful and thankful. That is what I have made so far. And that is what I made when I first got monetized back in November and in January, like I said, was my highest paying month. So now that I told you a little bit about of my YouTube journey and what I have made thus far, now I'm going to go on to the monetization process of Google and the AdSense revenue. Now to be monetized, you have to have a thousand subscribers. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard this, but I'm just gonna say it again. You have to have a thousand subscribers and you also have to have 4,000 watch hours. And this is all within a 12 month time span. Once you finally hit these, you will then get an email from YouTube or a letter in the mail with a little, I don't have one because like I said previously in the beginning of this video, I was actually monetized a long time ago before they changed 
and made this new, all these new regulations. But um, when I did back in like 2017, they actually sent me, Google sent me a little um, flyer in the mail with a little code that allowed you to gain access and create your Google AdSense account. What will then happen after you are approved for monetization and you have all of that set? Now the next part is obviously when you're gonna get paid. So in order to be paid and receive your first payout, you have to reach a minimum of $100. That is the threshold that you have to meet. Obviously from the time of when you first get monetized and then until you reach $100, that money will just start accumulating and you'll see it accumulate and accumulate until it finally reaches $100. And then that is when you will be able to receive your payout. That is how the monetization process for YouTube works. Now that you know how the monetization process works and about my story with YouTube and all that fun stuff, now on to what you guys are probably most interested in is the tips that I will recommend on how to get your channel monetize super super fast so the number one trick that i am going to share with you guys is to niche down you guys heard in the beginning of this video with my youtube journey i started out with creating beauty and makeup related videos and content and with that being said i really wasn't taking youtube serious it was more so of just a platform to share what i love most and of me just having fun and with me having stopped making videos for almost a year it wasn't until 2020 of quarantine again, like I stated in the beginning of this video, that I started posting more. And I had then changed and made the jump from makeup videos to then business related videos. And then I realized that my audience on my YouTube channel had loved the business related videos and I had gained so many subscribers and had gotten so much attention on those videos that I had then stuck and decided to just completely changed my channel into a business related channel. So with that being said, and with my experience, I really learned that when you make videos that help and add value to someone's life, they truthfully do better. Now going back to what I said about niching down, the niche and the sole purpose for my channel now is purely business related. When you niche down, the beauty of this is, is that the YouTube advertisers will then trust your content and your videos to then put their advertisements on your videos. And with that, the YouTube advertisers putting more ads on your videos that will then increase your CPM, which will in turn allow you to make more money from your videos. Now, if you guys don't know what a CPM is, I will list like a little screenshot here. If you guys don't know what a CPM is, it's okay. I didn't know what it was either when I first started this whole entire thing out, but basically what a CPM is the cost that an advertiser plays for a thousand ad impressions. So basically in real normal people talk, a CPM is how much you will then make per 1000 views. Essentially what you wanna do is you wanna be able to increase your CPM because that is when you will be able to make more money on your videos. Now the beauty of having a business channel is that because the advertisers trust my videos and other related videos, just like the ones I put out, they put more ads on it and when your ads are displayed on your videos and people are watching them, you will then get paid more money and your CPM will then go up. I hope this is easy for you guys to understand. Now one thing to know and to keep in mind and that I honestly wish that I would have known this early on if you really wanna take YouTube serious is that there are other niches and industries out there that do perform better than others. Business related channels, fitness and health, nutrition, all those types of channels and all those industries and niches are usually the industries that perform and get paid more versus the family and prank channels, whereas their CPM is very, very low. Their CPM is likely around maybe one or $2 per every 1,000 views that they get. Those prank and family vlog channels solely rely on millions and millions of views to actually be able to make some type of money from them versus a business channel like mine, I don't have to necessarily get a lot of views to make good money. And that's because my CPM is much higher. And that's because YouTube advertisers trust my videos to put their ads on. So all in all, my main tips here for you guys to be able to grow and get your channel monetized fast is to niche down, 
pick an industry, stick with it, and create videos and be consistent. Consistency is key and obviously when you find a niche and you stick to it, you will grow an audience that loves you, will trust you, and will always keep coming back for more. And I promise you, your channel will grow in no time. Take it from me and my experience, from me making the switch to a, a very fun channel with sporadic videos that I just saw that were trending every now and then, to then focusing solely on business related videos, I was able to grow my channel tremendously, jump from a thousand followers to 3,500 followers within just three months and also get monetized. I hope this video helps you guys out a lot. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found this video helpful if you are looking to become a YouTuber. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video.